What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the very first episode right here of our Pokemon Brown walkthrough. Yeah. Wow. Who would ever thought that we'd see another hack game right here on my Gym Leader Draven channel, and yes, it's finally happened. A year later. Hmm. We might still be in a pandemic or something. I don't even know, guys. But yes, here we are in Pokemon Brown. I've actually had my eye on this game for quite some time, guys. Mainly because, I, I don't know, I thought it would be easy at first, kind of like Pokemon Liquid Crystal, but we all know what happened right there. So, let's go right ahead and take care of business by starting up this whole thing. Now, I know that I don't have the... I don't have the colored uh, a Pokemon Brown game. I don't know how to do that, so if any of you guys can help me out right here, that'd be great. So let's go right ahead and press this new game, as you can see right here. Hello, you must be new here. Welcome to the, this land called Region. My name is Timothy, but you can call me Tim. I am the island's uh, Pokemon tutor. Or was he the Pokemon professor? I don't even know. This is a Pokemon there are a lot of them, or a lot of these in the Region area. So is it Region area or Region region? I think that's the reason why they they call this the region area because it's like region region. <laughs> Doesn't really make any sense. I've done a fair of extent of research on these, and it seems that they have a special capabilities for fighting, for fighting, uh, for fighting as well as being tame uh, household pets. Oh, um, what is your name? Your name, young man. Well. Let's go right ahead and name ourselves again. Now, I'm assuming that Adam, Paul, and Kyle are the guys that hacked this game and made it uh, possible. So, we're going to be naming ourselves the same old name that we've been naming ourselves since the very beginning. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. Good old buddy Draven right here. And he's like, oh, Draven. I've never heard that name before. Draven. My lab is at Gravel Town, just south of your town. I have something to show you there. Has your mother finished uh, packing uh, everything? See you soon. Okay, so this is like an odd way to begin this whole thing right here. Okay, so here we are, guys, in the region region or the region area. I don't even know where this is in the map or in the hack map or anything. But yes, I've had this game uh, for quite some time. This is the 2014 edition, I would, uh, I think so. There were two... Well, there, yeah, there were two... Pokemon Brown games made, and I think one of them was in 2009. I could be wrong. Comment down below. Now, picking up the potion, as always. You know, if we do have a, a, a PC in our room, there must be a potion, but there's no other stuff right here. And, well, here's our mama, and she's like, good luck on following your dad's footsteps, uh, sweetie. Oh, yeah. Uh, go south and look for Professor. Okay. All right. So, I'm going into this game blindly again, okay? blindly kind of like how, uh, how we should do with hack games and all that stuff so if I do get frustrated at some point in time it's it, excuse me it's just that you know I don't know how long this game is going to be but here we are in the region area and well hey are you a Pokemon trainer yes I am cool I'm going to be one soon as well it's very hard but rewarding pretty good pretty good okay so we are we are gonna be going south right here now we can't go there but we can oh wow we can actually run look at that okay never mind never mind <laughs> they improved on that stuff so we got to go south right here and this actually says seashore city where waves of new journeys begin their long travels that's good okay so here we are in the so southern region and well the dreaded oh crud the dreaded trees of doom that we can't get past now Talk to this guy. This road is pretty straightforward. You can never get lost on the on this road. Okay, let's go ahead and find this road right here. And well, where are we now? We are in Route 53, Gravel Town, Seashore City. Okay, Gravel Town is right here. Look at that. That was easy. Very very easy. No Pokemon getting uh, getting here or what the hell? Okay, so here comes Price. I mean Timothy or Tim. I've been waiting for you to get here. You need your very own Pokemon, so come to my lab right away. All right. Look at that. Now, you can hear the music. It's pretty slow. Very, very slow. I think they wanted to change that up and everything. So here we are in the Pokemon lab, and, well, there is a rival right there. And this rival is named Mira, or Mura, or I, I don't know how you pronounce it, but whatever. Finally, he is here. Let's hurry. Mira, be patient. Now then. 
Are you both ready for your first Pokemon? Yes, I am. I have three newly hatched Pokemon here. My grandfather wanted me to carry on the tradition of being a master. I'm passing this legacy to you two. Mira's like, I am, uh, or I am honored, good sir. Tim, okay, good to know. Draven, you pick first. Okay, alrighty. So we got three selections right here. Obviously, the three Pokemon that are gonna be right here is a Charmander, Squirtle, and Blast, or no, not Blastoise, but uh, Bulbasaur. So here we have Charmander, the lizard Pokemon, obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. Now, you guys know me, I, I love Charmander. I would make him into my third, or I would make him into Godzilla right away. But since we are playing a Pokemon hat game, I think it's, uh, I think it's appropriate for me to use Pokemon that I have not used, or, you know, barely used and all that stuff. You know, give him a redemption video right here. So Charmander's off the uh, off the table right here. Here we have a good old Squirtle, tiny turtle. Yes, yes. Look at that. After birth, its back swells and hardens in, into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. Now, here's the thing. I al I already have a Squirtle. I think I called it uh, one of the Ninja Turtle names. I completely forgot in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So that guy is off the table. So. I'm going to hate this, I really do, um, as much as I really don't want to, but I kind of need to because it uh, kind of needs a redemption story itself, I'm going to go with this guy right here, Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. So let's go ahead and take a look at Bulbasaur right here. Now, for those who are wondering, why did I pick Bulbasaur, it's very simple guys. In Pokemon, I would like to say yellow. Yes, Pokemon yellow. I actually had the three, the three uh, starter Pokemon on my team, and then I decided to switch them out with different Pokemon and all that stuff to make my team a little more, you know, a little more co competitive and all that stuff. I did nickname this Pokemon, and uh, it kind of didn't have like a complete ending. You guys probably saw it over in Pokemon Stadium, Stadium Two, and all that stuff. And I kind of want to give it its own kind of back, like, kind of walkthrough it can actually flourish in. Get it? Flourish, plant Pokemon, and all that stuff. So, welcome back to the team, my good old buddy, Sunny with an A right there. Look at that. Okay, now, it's going to hurt me doing this, but, yep, Mira's going to be taking the Pokemon that's stronger than me. So, there it is. He's taking the Charmander. All right, dickhole. So... Let's go right ahead and talk to Professor What's-His-Face Tim. Good luck. Okay, so after that, Mira's going to be like, Wait, Draven! Let's check out our Pokemon. I'll probably beat you. He probably will. I don't even know. Okay, so here it is, guys. Our very first battle in the region area, and it's against Mira. And he is going to be coming out with the Pokemon I would would have actually selected, and that is Charmander. So here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and just uh, try not to get beaten by this guy right here. And well, as you probably already noticed, these sprites right here are I would like to say Pokemon Yellow and the second generation. Correct me if I'm wrong. And. You know, I would love to actually have the full color on this, so again, guys, if you know how to put the color onto this game right here, please comment down below, that way I can get you guys a game with a little bit more color right here. Now, as you can see, I'm getting my butt kicked right now. Here comes another scratch attack. Should have chosen Charmander, god dang it. Oh, but wait, here we have a potion. That's right. I'm not going to lose just like I did in Pokemon Yellow, so let's go ahead and destroy this guy. And, well, right now, he is kicking my butt now. Come on! Let's go, Sonny! Ah, oh, crud. You see, it's a critical hit. I'm... Oh, jeez. Okay, so... <laughs> wow. We are not going to win this one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there we go. And just like that, Sonny grows to level 6, and I have defeated Mira. Damn! I need to train this Pokemon. And, of course, the cuss words are included. Okay, I under I now understand the difficulty of the training. Draven, we will meet again. Okay, all right, we'll meet again. All right, all right. Uh, do we have to do anything, uh, Draven? I expect you to take good care of it. Okay, whatever. 
So, let's go ahead and take a look at our very first Pokemon, and that is Sunny the Bulbasaur. As you can see, it is a grass and poison type Pokemon. And it does have uh, some uh, pretty even stats right there. It's special, pretty good, and all that crud. And it only has two attacks so far. And like I said, guys, I'm going into this game blindly. So I don't know what comes in, what comes out, and all that stuff. I don't know if the evolutionary stones evolve Pokemon to trade and all that stuff. So it, you know, it, it's just a little confusing to me right now. So what we have to do first right here is we're going to complete this game or this episode by going into the Pokemon. Because if you go in here... You got this guy's like, yo, dude! Professor Tim forgot to pick up this uh, his pizza. Will you deliver it for me? And look at that. Instead of a parcel, we get ourselves a pizza. So, that's kind of odd for me right there. So, okay. All right. Never mind. Okay, so, <laughs> let's go right ahead and go back to the Pokemon Lab and take care of that business right there. Okay, so, after picking up the pizza... Talk to uh, the Tim Tim guy. He's like, "Oh, Draven, what are you doing back so early? Huh? You have something for me?" And look at that. We give him a pizza, which is great. Oh, good. I was hungry, but too busy to pick it up. And just like that, Mira is coming back. And well, let's see. What did you uh, or what do you need me for? Timmy's like, "Oh, right. I have a request of you two." On this desk, there is an invention, the Pokédex. It's uh, It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Draven and Mira, take, the, uh, take these with you. And look at that, we get ourselves a Pokédex. A nice, very, very nice Pokédex right there. And well, he's like, to make a, comp a complete guide of all the Pokémon in the world. That was Graham's stream. But he passed away before he could even finish it. I need you two to do this for him. Hmm. Okay. Well, somebody actually died, and they referred it to us. Hmm. Pretty nice, right there. Mira's like, "All right, I will do that. Uh, I will do. Uh, wait, I will do that all for you, Draven. I will fill this up in, and you won't. I know. I'll buy lots of Pokeballs with all my cash. That way, I'll get them all. Draven, see ya. Okay. All right. So. I guess, I guess that's that, that, that's the beginning right there, guys. I know it's very anticlimactic and all that stuff, but as you can see, the Pokedex the same as uh, the original and all that crud. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going through a lot of stuff right here. Now, uh, actually, before we go, before we go, guys. Okay, so you guys are seeing a hack game right here. This right now will probably be a weekend only kind of deal because summer has started. We are not in a full-blown pandemic anymore, so my time is going to be split on a lot of things. So luckily for me, I do have one day to fill up my uh, my filming with a lot of episodes. So, yes, weekend walkthroughs and all that stuff for the win. This is for the summer right here, guys, and yes, Pokemon uh, Moon will be included in all this package right here. Stay tuned, guys. Another episode will be coming out. See you guys.